All right. Good evening, trainers. It is the PD, and welcome to my adventure. So, uh, yesterday my stream sucked a major pee-pee, and I have no idea why. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> it wasn't a good day yesterday. My Duolingo's kept acting up, and uh, for some reason my stream for Pokemon Go didn't work. But good thing nothing too eventful happened. But I always like keeping it running so that I can capture some highlights for uh, the Pokemons. Because that's good. That's that's always important. Maybe I should really like sift through all of the all of the uh, um, videos so that I get some good highlight moments and maybe make a highlight reel of um, all of my Pokemon adventure stuff. And uh, yeah. I don't know, like, like and comment if you think that would be a cool idea. But I'm going to be riding to my destination. Ooh, it's foggy out, holy crap. What's up, Landon? How you doing, man? For some reason, my stream yesterday was crap. Oh yeah, candy, ex extra candy for extra large Pokemon. Cool. Uh, but yeah, we're, uh, we're driving. We are driving to our destination. <sighs> Let's see, yeah. Are we, uh, are we going to, where are we going to? We're going to our place. Oh, wow, we only got 10 minutes to achieve everything, so hopefully we got enough stuff going on. How's the stream quality, by the way? Can you still hear my voice? Because Landon, I gotta, we gotta have a good conversation about Pokemons, like, it's good to hear you say hello. It lets me know that you're like, like, hey man. I gotta send you some stuff. I gotta send you some stuff, but, uh, give me a sec as I drive into the abyss. Okay. Oh, there's a slow poke. There's a little slow poke. Two hits. Oh, there's like... No, this is like a scary movie. You know, you ever watch a scary movie with like a really, really foggy setting? Wow, there's a lot of, there's a lot of Pokemon I haven't seen in a while. Like Psyduck and... And definitely not Dunsparce. Nobody, I never see Dunsparce. I love Dunsparce because it's so lumpy and fat. Oh, Froki too. Wow, it's, for some reason there's a lot of sight up around. It's probably some event I'm not really uh, thinking about. But here we are. We're at our spot. I'm going to take this out. Hey, Chris. How was school? Chris. Uh, Wolf Luna. I'm Gen 1. Oh, yeah. Gen 1 Lickitung couldn't learn Lick. I don't even think, I think that was from yesterday's, I was reading the chat from yesterday. Let's start with a Froki. We haven't gotten, oh, 3, 3.50 p.m. Yeah, it's almost midnight here, so I figured, I, what, when's a better time to play Pokemon than almost midnight? Alright, I got no time to waste here. I gotta catch this Froki. No questions asked, just give me that frog. Cause I, I found a, I found my earring. I have a different earring in. Let's see, we got it. All right, we got the two day streak, yo. Okay, and then let's see what else we got. Uh, I think that bonus would be like, I think the daily whatevers is. Uh, oh, okay, just new discovery challenge. Very slow discovery challenge. What's that? Oh, that's the different Slowpoke Forever t-shirt. <laughs> that's funny. Four days and 20 hours. Collect these Pokemon before the time expires. Add your Elite Collector medal. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, three hearts. Oh, yesterday and today and a little bit of the day before. Just not a good segment of days. But I, I'm managing. I'm really managing. Took a little R&R. &R. Definitely a lot of R&R. But, uh, you know, I'm managing. 
I'm doing better, to say the least. I'm, I'm still keeping it a little bit minimal as far as the Pokemons are concerned and Duolingo, but, you know, I mean, I gotta preserve the mental health somehow. Because, you know, every single day, man, every single day, it's like, oh my god, I gotta play Pokemons every day. It's an it's like an addiction, but it's also something I really love to do. So I'm conflicted all the time when it, when it comes to the Pokemons, because it's something I love, it's something that I know I'm I'm going to be loyal to. It's like being married. You have your off days <laughs> with your spouse, I suppose. But we got the challenge for that. And that should be Honky Dory. We should also do this before I forget. Item bag is full. Holy crap. Uh, okay. We could probably use some revives. Yeah, we'll do them on the small axis. There we go. Then I think we'll do regular potions. Let's do regular potions on this guy over here. There we go. Because we got 25 of them. I only use them to top off the Pokemon and their health. And, uh, you know, Super Potion would probably make sense with all of these guys. There we go. I am not afraid of losing all of my stuff. Okay, another super potion. Then, wait, maybe we could use a super potion here on this Snorlax. Then we'll just use regular potions. Uh, maybe on these guys. Okay, then on uh, Tauros again. There we go. <laughs> That's how you make a lot of item storage space. That's for sure. And then there we go. Day two. <laughs> We're going to get into day three. Uh, there's no rocket showing up. So there, there's a... It's not as team rocketed. Let's see if you guys said anything. Uh, let's see. Let's go to shop. And I think we could get the daily free box. Actually, there's an event box, right? Oh, it's a King's Rock. Cool. Yeah, you could see all my land legendary Pokemon landed. I have to double check which ones they are. Let's go to land. Let's go. Uh, I want to send you guys both presents before I forget. And also Wolf. She's she's been consistent every single day. I think she's in bed now cuz it's late an hour later there. Man, this is Okay. There we go. Land. Okay, here we go. I haven't forgotten. Well, I mean, I haven't forgotten. Oh, that's a cute slowpoke. I like that. Here, you know what? I'll send that slowpoke to you. Let's see, where's the slowpoke? I'll send you the slowpoke. Nice. <laughs> it's such a cute, lumpy slowpoke. Okay, I already sent that. Then to Christ. Yo. For some reason, I did. I wasn't able to send you a gift. I, I think it's because I didn't have many. But I, I think for because I've been slacking a bit. <laughs> slacking. I'll send you a slow, bro. I'm slow. This is my slow day. <laughs> I feel like that could be my uh, uh, spirit Pokemon. Okay. Okay, Wolf is taken care of. Who else do I got to take care of? Uh, Meme Meme. Meme Meme finally sent stuff. We're close to being best friends, man. Alright, well, I'm going to send him a Charmander. Or at least Ultra Friends. I don't know if he wants to be my best friend. You know, I've also... 
Yeah, I'll send a Torchic. It's it's like I got seven of them. For some reason Torchic really uh, small small did check in, so I gotta be loyal to him. A another gazebo. I'll send him a I'll send him a gazebo too. I think I got one lying around. Nice. We got we ultra friends with these guys. Ultra friends. We're very. Oh wait, hold on. Gazebo. We're gonna do this gazebo. Gaze bow. All right, we're gonna send him. Uh, yeah, we'll send him. Uh, I was gonna say Trico. That's a torchic. Still in the Hoenn region realm. Oh, wait, Ethan. Also close. Ooh, shiny Gibble. Yeah, we are, we are close to Ultra Friends, man. I hope I hope we can get there soon. Sorry, it's been taking a while. I've just been overwhelmed lately. But I I will go. I would never go back on my promise with this. Because, uh, you know, I've been making... Well, as you can see, you know, when you get more and more friends, it's, like, hard to upkeep. You make so many promises to everyone. You know, it, it takes up all of your time to, like, even do just a little bit to one person. Okay, Killbug. Killbug finally sent me something. Oh, he's got his arms crossed. Oh, he's, he's got a little togepi. That's adorable. Come on. Come on, let me click on your present. Give me a sugar. Nice. Got me, give me the Trico. Yeah, I love stickers. Thing is, is they, I feel like they should have a little bit of a bonus towards leveling up. Ah, we're great friends with Killbug. Finally, I'm gonna give send him a Charmander specifically for him. There you go. There's a Charmander. I think it's, I don't know how you get the Togepi pose. I think it's just, it has to be your buddy. But once we close out of this, I think that there's going to be something magical to happen. Oh, nice. Already got another present. Here, 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 where is it? Let's see, I-R-E-X. Here, send it to me now, Chris, if you're going to send me something. Or if you have to wait another 24 hours. Oh, another slowpoke. I, I like that slowpoke. It's like, paint me like one of your French girls. So I think in a couple minutes I could send you another one, Landon. Um, but yeah. But look at all of these. I have to open... Oh, wait, I want to open this one. Sly 2020. St. John's. St. John's. Okay, you'll gift me tomorrow. It's going to be tomorrow in two minutes, though. At least for me. I don't know if it... I don't know how it works with, like, time zone changes and what it's dependent on. Is it dependent on my time zone or your time zone? You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying, Mangs? <laughs> I love these slow pokes. I'm going to send this slow poke to him. He's a, he's a friend of mine. <laughs> that, let's see. Uh, yeah, we're so close to... Actually, let's go to... The home area. I'm waiting for the notification to come for... Uh, Killbug. Of us being great friends. There we go. There it is. You and Killbug are now great friends. Congratulations, man. We are now uh, butt buddies, I suppose. And uh, kudos to you and your endeavors in the Pokemons. Hopefully you and Reese are uh, have a bit more time together playing Pokemons. I know she got the new job. And uh, yeah. Awesome. Ho hopefully we get to Ultra Friends a, a little bit quicker. Sweet. Happy 10,000 to you. Yeah, that was 10,000 experience points. Yummy, yummy. And we're we're well into... Huh, we're almost halfway to million. Let's see who's... 
Let's see the friendship. I'll give to you tomorrow. My buddy's... Yeah, your buddy's a shiny. Ooh. Oh, remind me. I gotta show you guys the legendary Pokemons. But we're into tomorrow now, so let's do land. See, now I can send you something. Isn't that fancy? I think I can. Right? Hold on. Gotta close out. Open it again. Yeah, I could send you another one. All right, man, have a good homework time. There we go. Try to send you some. See now, now we got double presents. Got to get it. Got to get that double day in here. So we're doing both days in one day. So we could be here a little bit longer and all that good stuff. The Androvax Q. Oh man, I missed him. I I missed this guy. Oh, okay. This is not going to want to load. You know what it is? Who? The Point Hardened Ranch Play Structure. Looks like a nice little play, play, playground. We got a new field research, so we'll check that one out. But um, we're getting our ways to Ultra Friends with a bunch of other trainers. Also, we're almost out of presence, I'm realizing. Oopsie doodle. Okay, Bulbazoid. Give him a Bulbazoid. So yeah, we are low on the present count. Um, Let's see, we'll give some to Seven Shot because he helped me get that Tyranitar. A Persian. We're just going to wait for this... Yeah, it's it's a, it's one of those days where everything's load loading really slowly. So that's uh, it's one of those days. So seven shot, we got some stuff for you. Add a sticker to you, my boy. There you go. Okay, so we got some Pokemons, and we'll do, uh, let's see, what's on the new field research? Oh, we could probably do the, oh, it's just catch five Pokemon, that'll be easy. Let's do these goofy ducks, let's do these silly little ducky, ducky doodles. You know, I forget which maker of Pokemon, oh wow, is that a cat? What the heck is that? I see a cat. Oh my god, that's a fox! Holy crap, I just saw a fox. I haven't seen one of those in forever. It's carrying like a little, little animal. I wish you guys could see this. <laughs> I just saw a fox carry some kind of animal. Oh, yeah. Three-day streak. Forgot about that. <laughs> First catch of the day. <laughs> I, I'm, complete, I'm completely involved with... I, I got distracted. Like, I'm, I'm, like, not involved with what I'm doing. I got distracted by, like, a fox carrying around a dead animal. I hope it's not a bunny rabbit. I love bunny rabbits, and it breaks my heart to see one suffer. It really does. Anytime you see something cute and adorable suffer, it's like, it's awful. It's like when you see a dog die in a movie. It's like, it's even worse than like a person dying, because you know people are, kill things for pleasure, I think. I mean, that's, that's my justification for, you know, why... A dog dying is more, um, I think it's because dogs are just naturally more innocent, whereas people have, oh, oh crap, uh, just, I don't know, they just naturally are more corrupt. Team Plasma, I would join Team Plasma, to be honest with you. Well, I say that, but... Not, I wouldn't really want to, because I don't really like Unovan Pokemon. Come on, I can't really curve it. Oh my god, it kicked my ball. That's I actually like Spoink's animation, because it does some flips. 
makes me think of Flippy from the Fairly Odd Parents, <laughs> actually. Um, but yeah, not because the reason why I detracted from Team Plasma, I'm like, eh, you know, it's kind of like PETA, the animal rights organization, and they ended up putting like, I don't know, they ended up putting poison in like pomegranate juice, because they tested the pomegranate juice on animals, and uh, I don't agree with poisoning people to make a point. Because it's just, reg like, once you get regular people involved into these extremists, it's like, well, I mean, obviously it's an extremism, but for me, I just can't, I can't get behind an extreme organization such as that. Somebody actually broke their DS because of how enraged they were on, on uh, animal fighting with uh, uh, the Pokemon games. So they made Pokemon black and blue as like a parody to uh, black and white. I don't know if you guys remember that. You, you, Both of you guys might be too young to play it, but there's actually... If you go on the PETA website, I don't know if they still have it, but uh, if you look up Pokemon Black and Blue, it's actually a playable game that's a Pokemon game, but it's really... I don't know. I wouldn't say it's poorly done, but it's... It's, um... It's like what PETA interprets Pokemon as. But I, I sincerely think that Pokemon having Team Plasma as the main antagonist about like Pokemon liberation and stuff like that at the same time as um, at the same time as uh, um, I don't know just as PETA making that parody uh, mock-up game. It's a good um, like it's almost as if PETA didn't even play Pokemon Black and White because it was about them. It was about PETA as an organization. And how, you know... And, and like, it's not the same as Pokemon, like... And, uh... Yeah. Like, the, the whole thing with, like, animal fighting and Pokemon's liberation and animals' rights and animals' liberation, you know... They didn't even see themselves as, like, like, they didn't, I don't know, there's just not enough self-awareness, maybe, I don't know what I'm trying to say, <laughs> to be honest with you, uh, but, I don't know, just the irony, I think, is what I'm trying to point out with uh, PETA, N like, talking about Pokemon as, like, animals, you know, like, they have their own mind, they have their own natural state and of being we should take care of pokemon and let them be in their own natural habitat and that's exactly what team plasma is about and i don't know they i don't think they dove into team plasma because i think they had team rocket show up in the pokemon black and blue if you play if you guys play it um instead of team plasma but it's worth checking out it's it's a cute little flash game i don't know if it's a flash game uh, but it's, it, it, it feels like it's from that era. Alright, I'm gonna take over this gym. Let's see who's here. Alright, we got Jane Lee S. And they've been here. Darth Vindictus. Who's that? Is that Killbug back there? Medea. <laughs> With a little ribbon. Yeah, so we'll go back there and we'll, we'll do our thing. Girl. And I think that'll be it. That'll be it. That'll be that. Oh, because I think Landon and Chris... I don't know if you guys... It shows you guys still be in here. Because it, it, sh it says I don't have any viewers right now, so I think you guys left. Oh, yeah, Chris went to do his homework. Landon, I think, is just uh, being like, he's like, hey, man... I don't know what Chris is doing. Oh wow, did we did we have did we catch a slow bro? Let me double check. Okay, let me get off. Let's see. Come on. Oops, oh, there goes my windshield wipers. Oh yeah, Kanto's the first <laughs> region duh. Okay, we'll do you know we could probably get some good old slow. Slowpoke candies. I 
we'll do the pineapple combo of Ultra Ball. Hopefully we get a good slow bro out of this. Because if I, you know, when you see, when in Rome, when you see the slow bros. Okay. Oh yeah, and it can mega evolve. Why can't Slow King mega evolve? That's the other thing. The C dot. Alright, I'm gonna keep moving. It feels like my my phone. It feels like my car is gonna overheat or there's something wrong with the oil. So I might need to get an oil change. Alright. It's good to see ya. Okay, on Victor, we're definitely gonna use a cheapo revive on Victor. It's a good zone. Yeah, actually, where when I move, it's at a better zone. So we got Fennekin healed up. Well, not healed up, but you get the idea. Okay, we definitely gotta do Nancy. That's my girl. Yeah, look at that mud kip. That muddy boy. Oh no. <sighs> Fuck. I don't know if you guys hear me. Can you guys hear me? No idea if if uh, I'm going to be red. Take a look at that teeny down. Check one, two. Okay, I think we're back. <laughs> that was that was hard. Okay, we'll power up this peek a -pee. Sorry, guys, for that. Uh, but, okay, we'll do that. Didn't mean to swear. But, you know, it's just frustrating. We're gonna make this Duskull really powerful before we evolve it. Because I... Okay, you can hear me. Thank the Lord. Okay, I've got it at a weird angle. You know, we gotta do a cheapo revive on Genesect, but we'll probably do that later. Oh yeah, I gotta show you guys my legendaries. So, let's close... Oopsie doodle. Uh, Pokemons, and then we're gonna search. Legendary. Only got five of them. So this is our roster. We've got a Heatran that Ashuga helped me catch. Also known as Craft Times. The North Wind, Suicune, helped, uh, I got help from Killbug and Reese Rain for this legendary doggy, and, uh, the legendary Leviathan Kyogre. I actually caught this with a, uh, field research on my own accord, and I was really stoked to find that. I think I still have footage of that when I first caught my Kyogre. And, uh, from there we got Ashuga 3, which, you know, Ashuga's been helping. As you can see, there's a theme here. Most of the, uh, legendaries I caught were from raids because of, um, craft times or, you know, of my own accord. But this Zapdos I got from Giovanni. It's a Shadow Zapdos. Pretty cool. And then, uh, I can't power it up. Oh, yeah, I need more candies. I thought I had more. Oh, I guess Victini is a mythical, technically. So let's go to mythical. See more. Yeah, two mythicals I got. Oh, yeah. 
Genesect, that was my first Pokemon from uh, Ashuga Craft Times. And then this is from the Victini event. And that's, I named Victor because he's one of my best commenters on my Duolingo um, portion of my, uh, of my uh, thingy. <laughs> I don't know how to say say it, but uh, my Duolingo uh, endeavors, I suppose. Uh, let's see. Let's go by uh, yeah. Let's go by uh, let's see. Big big uh, big peepee. -pee. Okay, we can't go by. Appraisal, perfect. Yeah, well, let's go by perfect. We'll do Nancy and Purple COVID. We're going to suit those guys up with some good stuff. Um, yeah, we're going to go by perfect. Nancy, Purple COVID. And, you know, let's do, let's do one more for Fennekin. Yeah, we'll do Wolf Luna. This is hard to do. I gotta really, like, search through the archives to get this Pokemon validated. But this is the only way. Ooh, we got a lot of Pokemons here, too. But I do want to get these guys beaten up as soon as possible. And I do want to do it in a way that I use Nancy. I gotta use Nancy. And then the second one will do, uh... Wolf, Luna, and the third one I want to do, uh, Purple, COVID, and then, I don't know who else, those are the three that I want to use, let's see how well they do, like, I, let's, I'm gonna make it like a three on three, but obviously, it's, you know, we're gonna have Pinsir save the day if things go very wrong. I'm worried. Little Nancy. Ooh, so cute. Such a cute little mudkip. Alright, here we go. Super effective. Come on, stop. Okay, not very effective, but at least we got the super effective on. Okay. This is actually a fun, little fun little challenge. Okay, this big bad Dragonite. Well, versus this little itty bitty monkey. Not very effective because he's resistant to uh, you know, every elemental type. So, you know, legendary dragon Pokemon. Ooh, Psy Shock. Okay, wasn't able to use it. Purple Cobra. Man, Dragonite's a beast. No wonder I have a good one. Chris has a perfect Hundo Dragonite. I'm. He's very fortunate to have one of those. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Poison type versus a rock ground type. This is this is the end of But hopefully this purple COVID will be able to oof. Oh boy. Oh man. Alright, pincer, I guess we'll save the day. Finish it off with egg scissor. So we tried. We tried our, our bestest. But they bested us. That's all good, though. Let's put... Actually, you know what? Oh, wait. Hold on. No, not that. Let's put in Quaker Oats. And we'll give him a berry. Some berry. And with that, we're going to... Three-day streak. Yo, that's that's some good juice right there. So before we continue forth, <clears throat> I'm gonna do Sied. If it wants to load, there we go. See, I got your present. 
But I never sent one. I'm, I, I didn't even know. I do need to send you something. There we go. We got one present. Woof. Alright, I'll say hello to you. I have a 300 CP shiny Dragonite. Very nice, man. Good for you. I'm happy with my Dragonite because it has a little story to it. You know, I think every Pokemon has a story and it's... Well, every... I mean, every good Pokemon has a story to it. You know, like, the, the kind of Pokemon that, you know, you catch and release. Like what most of these Pokemon are probably going to end up being. Uh, the one that I'm going to be catching right now. You know, they don't really have much of a story to it. It's just like, oh, caught it, then it's gone. But, like, the ones that stick around... Like, uh, my... I was visiting a friend, and, uh, their mother's name is Barbara. And that's how my... that Dragonite got the name Barbara. Because I caught it in... I caught it in the... their house, I guess. Oh, oh, I threw away that great ball. I was hoping for a great throw with a curve. Oh, speaking of which, I gotta do the field roast. Field research, not field roast. That's a brand of food, actually. Field roast. It's, it... Have you guys ever had field roast? Um, vegan stuff? It's actually not bad. I would equate... I would put it on the same level as, like, like a turkey sausage. You know, you ever have one of those where it's, like... Like turkey bacon or like turkey sausage, it, it kind of has that same quality to it. It has like a poultry type of taste to it, but it's trying to be something else. I always like turkey bacon or turkey sausage. I had to quit meat though from my, uh, I was actually developing some arthritis at an early age, which sucks. You know, I, I don't really, uh. I, you know, I like animals and stuff. I love my bunny rabbits and such. But if I really, um, wanted to care about bunny rabbits, I would actually eat more, um, meat, believe it or not, because, you know, thousands of bunny rabbits die in the name of, of vegetables than anything else. Because, you know, farmers killing rabbits, rabbits love vegetables, so, you know, they're treated as pests. Towards the crop. Well, claw clauncher. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Do I have one? I think that's like one of the eight things that I have. Let's go to Kalos. Yeah, it's like one of the eight things that I have. Kalos is pretty rare here. I wonder if I went to French Canada. Would it also ha would it have a lot of Kalos region Pokemon? Are they that French that are like? If I ever went to, like, one of the French colonies of Africa, if there are any, would they have Kalos, more Kalos region Pokemon? I don't know how that would work. Okay, we're going to do 22. 107. 107 Great Balls. We got a lot of Pokeballs saved up, too. That's quite impressive. Quite impressive, if you ask me. Um, yes... Man, this guy's not wanting to be caught. I'm gonna use a pineapple berry. And you know what? I'm yeah, I'll use a great ball again. Hopefully it gets to a, an excellent throw. Maybe I should have waited. Oh boy. Man, this guy's a challenge. It's all about the challengers. Okay, we got a great throw on that, so hopefully Oh my god, it popped. Okay. I just want to catch it. Okay, I guess we'll do an Ultra Ball. Maybe it'll be a high statted Clawitzer. That's my hope, at least. There we go, we got my image. Wow, I look so greasy looking. I'm like, bleh. A clauncher. Get clonched. Would oh, cheer him. Let me turn this off. Yoink. Okay. 
You know, I should have, yeah, you know what? I'll use, I'll use uh, the Ultra Ball Pineapple Berry combo. Sounds like a, like a super duper bonus in a video game, but it's really not, like. <laughs> okay, we got 10 Cher Ruby candies. I've never seen a Cher Ruby in the wild, only Cherims. Wow, all attack, all defense, no HP. Yeah, that's not worth it. Might be good. Yoink. 3000 CP, Shiny Dragonite. Pretty cool. Yeah, Shiny Dragonite's that weird green color that Gen 1 really enjoyed for some reason. At least the algorithm auto-selected this, like, gross-looking green for for all the shiny, for most of the shinies. Like, Machamp has that weird, gross, like, baby crap green. Um, I don't know who else. There are a lot of Pokemon that have that. Oh, oh, another Pokemon showing up in the wild. A spoink. Spoink. Look at how bouncy that boy is. Alright, there's another one. We'll catch another spoink. Yoink. Yoink the spoink. Spoink is actually further than I might have uh, realized. It keeps moving too. It's actually kind of cool how it's like a continuously moving target because if it stops bouncing, its heart. Like, the spring in its tail is the thing that's keeping it alive. Oh, it double jumped. That's kind of cool. It's like Super Mario... Not Super Mario. Like Super Smash Bros. It could be like Super Mario uh, World. Or Mario 64, I mean. Um, yeah. Super Mario 64, they, they did have the double jump there. All right. Boink. Alright, big pity. Give me that pid. Pidgey's like that basic of basic distance. It's like, yo, it's close, but not too close, like a snover. It's like right where you need it. You just... And it's caught. Just like that, you know? It's like the, the feeling of having a full tank of gas. I don't think you guys are at that age. I don't know how old you guys are, but... And you don't have to say it either, but I know, like, that feeling of a full tank of gas is always the best. Or like, uh... You know, if you have a waffle, and you cover every every corner of that waffle with maple syrup perfectly or every corner of the piece of toast with butter that's it's the same equivalent of uh, the distance of Pidgey in uh, relation to where you're throwing is for the Pokeball a Koduk nose looks weird today. I don't know if it's... Did my nose grow? Oh, God. Getting a big honker over here. A praise. It's a praise, the boy. Okay, it's crappy. Alright, well, I think that's gonna be all the Pokemon that I haven't... Okay, no, never mind. There's a Spoink. We got a Spoink. Oh, you jerk. You're a jerk. I hate you. Alright, I'm gonna catch you now, though. You're gonna be mine, and then I'm gonna throw you into the garbage can. And you will. You will. Suffer. Okay, that's a pretty good... Okay, you don't want to be thrown into the garbage can. That's good. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe how superficial this game makes me be. You ever notice that... I just hate how superficial, you know, this is like conditioning kids into swiping left or right on dating apps. 
This isn't good. Like, this is, like, I, I know the ramifications of a game like this. It's gonna be like, oh, it doesn't have good PP, then there we go. It, nope, PP is not big enough. There you go. Bye bye. Swipe left. And that's really what it conditions kids into doing, and I hate it. Because it's just like, no, that you, you have to, like, understand the per the the characteristics of the person it's not oh god it's so like shallow it, when you think about it it's innocent but like at first but then you really think about it but we're gonna do the field research and uh we're gonna claim the reward and we got five pineapps hey good job with the field research it looks like we've learned a lot keep up the great work now let's see what we've discovered oh. All right, let's. I think this will be the last thing, and uh, you know, from there, we'll uh, end this journey, our adventure, for t the time being, at least, at least for today and yesterday. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's see what we got. Two thousand. Ooh, remote raid pass. That's cool. You know of a stone? Wow. I gotta spend these Unova stones. I don't know what to spend them on, though. Start encounter. Ooh, a clam pearl. Okay. Oh, you know what? We ended up getting a really nice clam pearl last time, so I think I'm gonna great ball it. Or, sorry, ultra ball it. Hopefully it's a Gorobus. Or, um... What's the other one? Huntail quality. We got six of them. Six of those coins. Appraise it. And it's not bad. The HP is a bit dismal. But, uh, you know. Not bad. And, and we gotta catch this gulpin. We gotta catch the gulpin. Gonna turn that light off for the time being. All right, we got the gulpin. I know it's like the last thing that I said I would do, but, I, you know, Pokemon just keep showing up. All right, trainers. Well, I think that'll do it. We got a pretty good clam pearl out of that. And, uh, you know, we got this. We got the gym taken over, so we'll hopefully that'll last and it won't be kicked out in, like, two seconds later. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, trainers. All right, catch them all. Stay safe out there. And, uh, recycle. Do whatever you gotta do for your community. Be kind to one another. And take care.